It's a familiar foe in week six. This was a team that really caused me a lot of problems in Giants franchise. The commanders just have a way of cheating the game and getting wins. We are one and four, dead last in the NFC South, although it's still early. It's still early. Eagles and Bengals are the lone undefeated teams in the NFL at the moment. And the Panthers and rookie quarterback Bryce Young are having no trouble at all. Four and one for them. Looking at Alex Gayton here from Penn State. He is an edge rusher. We could team him up with Penn State edge rusher Arnold Ebicady, come to think of it. But he is an interesting looking player. Skills wise, he is A pursuit, B play rec, C power moves. Power moves is quite low. But if he's a finesse rush type, which you'd expect at 6'5", 244 only, could be pretty good. Good to great speed, great to elite jumping is whatever. Good to great acceleration. If these are on the top end of what they could be, we might be looking at a pretty good player. Only solid to good strength, however. But if he's got A finesse moves, and we know he's a physical player who delivers bone crushing hits, he's a savvy defender with the ball in the air, which is interesting for what looks to be a pass rusher, has a motor that runs through the whistle, often looks to rip the ball from runners, shows good discipline and won't get flagged much, and then as a pass rusher, loves to utilize a spin as a counter move, has a swift arm over move in his arsenal, but will also utilize power and leverage to bowl through pass protectors. So, seems like he could be a pretty good pass rusher. It's so early in the scouting process that we don't really know anything about a lot of these players. We only have one attribute in a lot of cases. At most, we're seeing right now that a player could be 35% scouted. There are some quarterbacks that are up to 45%. But I'm not really sure I'm considering a quarterback heavily at this time. Obviously, things could change. But I'm not exactly blown away from what I've seen so far. But I will mention it's incredibly early. But I'd like to focus less on the draft class right now and more on the team we're actually about to play. Seems like Jacoby Brissett's going to be the starting quarterback. We know a lot about this team already. But yeah, the draft, it seems like right now we're going to be picking high. I'll tell you, I don't want to. We can always trade up. I want to win games. And right now, we are really struggling to do that, clearly. We're going up against a very good defensive line. And our offensive line, in my opinion, has played very, very poorly. Now... I'm sure Jacoby Brissett's going to look like an all-pro in this game, but oof, we got to be able to play good defense today. Injury in the secondary, Quan Martin's not going to play, and Cam Curl's not going to play. So they're going to be a little bit weak at safety. Maybe that's something we can expose, but we don't throw the ball, so or at least we don't throw the ball well. So maybe not. We're going to defend the short pass, and... I mean, I want to try and run the ball against that defensive line. But maybe throwing it short is going to be better. I mean, but faster pocket degra or degradation sounds really bad. If it degrades quicker, and already we don't have a lot of time, that feels real, real awful. All right, let's get some of these drills going on. Get some XP for Clark Phillips, who did make a nice play in the last game. Had an interception. Bijan seems like he's always going to end up having a good game. But an interception... For Clark Phillips, uh, you know, is one thing, but we need more consistent play when he's on the field. And for Bijan, he fumbled in the last game. Out of character, uncharacteristic, you could say, even though he did fumble against Texas Tech in real life to basically lose the game. It's not really something he does very often, so need a big confidence boosting game for Bijan against Washington. Gold for Clark Phillips. I'm sure we're going to get gold for Bijan here in rushing attack. We could try to do something cool, which I don't know. It's like random jukes and stuff <laughs> as i've mentioned you know so many times in these it's all about scoring just as quickly as possible early because there's not really much of a multiplier early and the multiplier is about how you get all those points and when you score a touchdown you increase your multiplier so it's really not about you know juking out and celebrating and doing all these things early it turns into that a little bit if you want super high points and I don't really like these pitches. I feel like they're not usually blocked all that well. The B. John Robinson spin move is not a good one at this current moment. But he's just so much faster than everybody else. There's not really a need to do many jukes or anything like that. We're actually going to cut this pretty close. We need to get in the end zone as quickly as possible. And we should have a shot to get gold here. If we score a touchdown on this play, which we're going to. And... 
That should do it. That is gold. Barely, but we got it. No injuries on defense, and our offense hopefully is healthy as well. This is where we've seen more injuries this year, and we have a broken finger from Kyle Pitts. He's missed two weeks now. Two weeks without Kyle Pitts, and it's not like we've done much when he's on the field anyway, but that is not an injury we want to see. Jonu Smith going to have to step up for us, and I guess this is going to be a really heavy run week. Kyle Pitts is going to be out for a couple of weeks. Still missing Troy Anderson as well, but they'll come back at the same time. Yeah, not ideal. Tough. Lorenzo Carter with an upgrade. He'll make no impact, so doesn't even matter. Clark Phillips, though, is actually a big one because this is a player we are expressly developing, and his man coverage could be in the 80s. That would be nice. Zone coverage is low, too. We could really go any number of ways with this one. Only 40 tackle. That is awful. Maybe we'll do slot. His 40 tackling is just not going to do. But I guess he's never going to be a good tackler, so maybe there's not even a point. Plus one speed, though, is big. That gets him over the 90 threshold. That could be a difference maker. All right, we're breaking out the alternate unis for this one. Something's got to change. We need some type of a boost, and you know what? Maybe looking better is going to result in playing better. Jacoby Brissett, of course, the quarterback for the Commanders in this one. No Sam Howell, and it is a scary-looking defense. We know that. Defensive line, very good. Linebacker's not too shabby. Some talent in the secondary as well. Got the rookie, Emmanuel Forbes. They are uh, they're a team to watch out for, to be honest. Now, I don't think they're quite there yet in real life. I think they're probably the fourth best team in the NFC East, which is a talented division. They could be as good as third, in my opinion. It's really going to hinge on how well Sam Howell plays. If Sam Howell's unbelievable, they could be even the second best team. Just think, it's tough to bet against the Eagles right now. And here we go. Young Waku starts the pain of another week. That's what these games have been so far. A lot of pain. A lot of pain. A little jet sweep to start. Oh, it's going to be successful. Jahan Dotson finding space gets seven. We're blitzing. Brissett going to dink it down into the flat. Like, having Zach Harrison there is real bad. He's not an off-ball player. But we're running a versatile defense. And without Troy Anderson, that's the type of player that goes into coverage, which is really, really tough. We're already using a safety in the box in Jalen Hawkins, which isn't ideal. Injuries have been really brutal to us so far, and we don't have a lot of depth. The Falcons cut Michael Walker in real life. He would be a nice player to have. It's just a lack of, of talent right now for us, in my opinion. That's uh, a huge, huge detractor. Third and 12. We're going to pass commit. Surely it's a pass commit. No running back. And that's going to be open. Richie Grant, big hit. How do we leave that open? I don't know how that's open on third and 12. Jahan Dotson really could not have been any more open considering the circumstance. Like, there's not really anyone within five, six yards of him. <laughs> Play action. We're all over it. Caden Ellis forces a throw away. Couldn't quite get there. Jacoby Brissett just too fast. That's something people say a lot. Yeah, you know, what an athlete Jacoby Brissett is. Third and five. Quick throw to the running back. Brissett misfires. That's huge. We got lucky there. That was wide open. Because of course it's going to be. It's a running back quick route out of the flat. Or out of the uh, out of the backfield, excuse me. But they're going to settle for three. Joey Sly's kick is good. Could have been a worse start. The biggest key to winning these games is not losing momentum early that's what's been killing us so far we lose momentum we cannot recover we need a score on this drive they're begging us or begging for us to throw the ball we're not going to run up the middle with Bijan. juke back across look at Bijan robinson stiff arming for more spinning fighting finally wrapped up at around the 40 yard line maybe the 45 even that's a huge play chris lindstrom letting him know about it that's what B. John Robinson's capable of. We just got to get him the ball under any circumstance as we are on the 45-yard line. We're going to work off play action. We're going to find an open receiver. Rolling out. I don't... They're too close together. Come back to the ball, Drake London. Broken tackle. He steps out of bounds. Drake! That's a successful play. We got to take the good there. We just got to say, hey, okay. Nothing to complain about. We got the first down. Second and nine. They're, they're covering these outside routes. We're just going to lob it up deep. Use the size of London. There is a flag. He catches it anyway. 
That's got to be defensive pass interference on Benjamin St. Just. And that's exactly what the call is. Benjamin St. Just. We're going to go ahead and decline that. Drake London caught the football. Ball on the five. Just trust, you know, one of your best receivers and certainly our best receiver today with no Kyle Pitts. Read option hurt us last game. We're all over it this game. Ritter keeper, Desmond Ritter touchdown. That's how you start a game. That was a great drive. We got, we, we took some chances. I'm not going to say we got a little bit lucky, but the Drake London play was a little crazy, but it doesn't matter. We got to take what's available. We got to take what's not available. <laughs> We're going to take what the uh, commanders and the game let us get away with. And that is a big score. And you know what? I don't know that we're going to be out of these uniforms anytime soon. This is a major upgrade. Wide open over the middle of the field is scary. Terry. Jacoby Brissett starting out 8 of 10 for 109 yards passing. It's going to be one of those games. I think. I know. I, I, have, I play the game before. I know how this goes. Jacoby Brissett's going to dominate today. Which is not that big of a surprise. I don't like it, but it's not a surprise. Third and inches, we need to stop. We're gonna try to shoot a gap here. Oh, it's not a run. All over the running back, and I mean, Lorenzo Carter just doesn't belong in coverage, but that's a 3-4 defense for you. Make a play! Okay, Jalen Hawkins forces an incompletion. I think they had a touchdown on the other side of the field. We'll take that result. Brings up second and goal, and what looks like a run, but we'll see. Two very talented receivers wide right. It's going to be a run right. Cut back inside. That's what you want to do. Get the edge. Force the run back inside towards your big guys on the D-line. It's going to be third and goal now. And this is now certainly a run. If they go play action pass and score, credit to them. And that's, they're not even going to play action pass. They just, just straight up pass. I ran commit. Brissett made an audible. I guess he knew I ran commit somehow. And then it became a pass and a touchdown for Washington. I thought the run commit was the right call on third and short there. And it didn't work. Run the damn football. Never mind. <laughs> we got to get it outside. We can't run at John Allen and Deron Payne. He did a little Michael Jackson in there. Hopefully not doing any Michael Jackson activities off the field. Shout out Neverland. Julio open. Julio with the big catch. I thought it was going to be past him. Julio down the field. Welcome back to the lineup. He missed last week with an injury. We haven't seen him in a little bit. But that's exactly what you get with Julio Jones. He has the size to go up and make that, that catch look rather easy. I thought that was going to be over him. I really did. Huge play from Julio. And that's, that's what we need. AJ Terrell loves it. And then run outside away from their superstars. Give us a block. Bijan got a block. Bijan to the house. Touchdown, Falcons. Bijan Robinson finally breaks off a fairly long touchdown. Gotta love it. Great blocking. And obviously, Bijan's got the speed. London never gave up on the play. But man, great blocking on the outside set that up. 14 10. And it's clear to me right now that we will be able to run the ball outside on these guys. Don't run near Deron Payne, Chase Young, Jonathan Allen, and we're going to be good. Run the ball away towards even Montez Sweat and their corners. We're going to be perfect. Oh, look at Caden Ellis. That is a beautiful play. Filled the lane really well. Saw where it was going. Use the athleticism to shoot forward, make a play. Love that from Caden Ellis. Oh, we needed that to be a tackle. Needed that to be a tackle. That's okay. There is a flag. I think it's coming back. Very likely a hold here. Unless it's a face mask, which would be really tough. But nope. Going to be on the offense. Illegal block in the back. Quick throw outside. Caden Ellis all over it. Commander's going to lose a couple more. It's second and 19. So the illegal block in the back made it first and 16. That's negative three on the play. Got to watch out for those receivers on the left side of the field. They're letting Jacoby Brissett know something. But it's a run. We got to make a tackle. That's way too big of a play by Chris Rodriguez. 10 yards. Still third and long. We man blitz here. Really don't like the idea of it, but 
That's what the uh, computer wants. That's what the computer gets. Defensive coordinator. It's going to be a screen. Got to make a play. Make a tackle. How is he still going? Going deep down the field. Terrell gets his hands on the ball. Incomplete. Would have been tough to get the pick there, I think. Just had to guarantee that it wasn't going to be a touchdown. Now it's third and nine. Mm, let's go to a different defense here. And that's going to be a throw over the middle and incomplete. Tried to switch to Jesse Bates. Gave us Richie Grant. Nearly took us out of the play. But it's incomplete anyway. And they're going to try a field goal. Not going to be a problem for Joey Sly. Unbelievable leg on him. Big kick power. And he drills it no problem. The accuracy is maybe what could have been a question. But from 51, no issue. Bringing the safety up going single high. I mean, I'm tempted of course, to just work off play action on it. I just don't know if we're going to have the time. But that's what we're doing. Rolling out, throwing on the run, missing Jonu Smith. Oh, that's a brutal miss. Quick throw, Jonu, there he is. Uncovered, still going as Jonu Smith eventually wrestled down. That's a nice way to rebound there. Running outside, wide side of the field. Oh, that's good defense. There is a flag. It might be coming back anyway. It didn't really go anywhere. It is a hold. First and 20. They're taking away the slant. We're rolling out. Look at the speed from Ritter. He's got space. Desmond Ritter searching for the first down. Does a weird little army crawl. Comes close to it. Going to be second in inches. It's a great play, though. Because we have B. John Robinson for at least two runs in a row. And... Won't even matter. First down. We would have run it, obviously, on third and inches. Maybe even fourth and inches if it came to it. Now we can go back to passing if we want to. And you know what? I don't want to. We're going to run the ball. And we got a nice little double team there. Good block from Smith. Bijan finds a crease. Bijan with space. Looking for touchdown number two. Stiff arming just shy of the goal line. Bijan Robinson rips off another big one. Nearly a touchdown. And he's having a phenomenal game. Already 123 rushing yards for Atlanta. Tyler Algier going to give Bijan a breather. Here's the pitch to him. Great blocks and the score. Tyler Algier. Did I call him Tyler? I should have. Did I call him taller? Either way, into the end zone. Touchdown, Algier. And uh, I wish he hadn't after those dance moves. Really wish he hadn't. But all right, we're up 21-13. Offense came to play today, and it's all about running the ball. Offense runs through Bijan. Pound the rock, run the damn football. Third and 10, trying to take away everything. We force the throw away. That's perfect. Brissett under pressure, just opts to uh, punt the football back to us, and we'll look to extend our lead. Have just under two minutes to play, so maybe the offensive strategy has to change a little bit. But I still think with three timeouts, and based on our success so far in this game, Running the ball, probably still the move. What about some checkdowns, though? We're going to scramble a little bit here. A little lob to Julio. It's intercepted. Oh, that's really tough. It's a pick six. I don't regret it even for a second. I would do it again. Obviously, I wanted to lead him down the field. Obvious. So obvious. And it's just not what happened. <laughs> I didn't want to just throw it right to Kendall Fuller. I saw he was there. We just throw it above him. But yeah, it didn't happen. Very frustrating. Again, I would do it again. Just maybe try to high point that or use the special pass down the field. But, you know, in my head, when I use Playmaker to send him upfield, he's going to keep running far beyond Kendall Fuller. And he just goes, eh, I'm kind of bored with that. And he just stopped moving. And that's why that ball is capable of being picked off. Because obviously it's thrown what? He can make this play. It's about 10 yards under thrown again. Just, uh, I can't say anything but unlucky. That's what, that's how I feel about it. Awful end to the first half. We were looking so good. Well, screen to Bijan though. A decent enough block, but it was, it ended up being a one on three. Chase Young going to give us a free timeout. Appreciate you, Chase. Run the ball. Looking for space. Finding it with Bijan. Robinson in the open field again. He stepped out, so that's going to be a clock stoppage. Eight rushes for 121 yards for Bijan. Unbelievable performance so far here early. I mean, he's 
he's fixing to set the rushing yard record in a game. And, I mean, maybe not even just rushing. Bijan Robinson with an incredible play. Oh, that was beautiful. And, you know, the last time the rushing yard record was broken, it was done by a rookie. Adrian Peterson, maybe the best pure runner of all time. Recency bias, but also my favorite player. So there's a jersey behind me. You guys have seen it. Is it still there? It is. It is. Sometimes I, I change them out. I didn't want to look silly there. Uh, he did it against the Chargers in 2007. 297 yards. Here's Jonu Smith. Nice play inside the five. And Ritter also having an amazing game, except for the pick. Literally. And it's all about momentum early. Run up the middle. Bijan meet him! Bijan Robinson. When the train's coming, get off the tracks. And Bijan train rolling in Atlanta here early. What a first half for Robinson. Could have been even better, but what a first half. Blocking's been incredible. Just stay away from the big guys on the interior of the defensive line. You're going to be okay. Bijan is crushing it. I mean, the commanders got into somewhat field goal range. Joey Sly going to try and drill a super deep kick. And it's wide right to end the first half. That got a little bit scary. It would have been only been three points, obviously. But you know what? Made a big mistake to end the first half and then also erased it to end the first half. Very odd end to the second quarter. But you know what? 149 yards rushing. Bijan having a crazy game. And with the lead, probably only more runs in the second half. What a first half for Bijan. That's all I'll say. So accidentally made my goal as inside run. Which I don't know if I'm going to like that. Deep pass and then running anyway worked so well. Mike Hughes up the field. We might not even get a Bijan run. Mike Hughes returning kicks for us now. Didn't really see a lot from Cordero Patterson and Mike Hughes. Didn't make a change on the depth chart. He's just doing it now. It's a great return to midfield. We'll see if we can still run the ball with this new, uh, this new game plan. Bijan averaging over 13 per carry. I mean, how do you do anything else right now? I think you force the commanders to say, hey, we can stop this. And right now, they can't. Although they did there. No! Bijan shut down. You knew it was coming. Jonathan Allen just made a play. Fourth and two. We're not punting from midfield. You're stupid. We're going back to it. Just hope we get blocks. There's Bijan. There's a block by London. Bijan gets to the second level so easily. 150 yards now. Play action. Working out of the pocket. It's going to be, oh, nearly another pick being stupid. Drake London touchdown. It was, I didn't learn from my mistakes and it works out. That was, that was stupid, but it worked. So you know what? Talk some trash. What are you going to tell me? Oh, Bengal, that was a bad touchdown. <laughs> yeah, thanks, dude. <laughs> nice. Going deep. Richie Grant, do something. AJ Terrell, nice way to break up that pass. Third and three. Quick throw. We're right there. Ah, please don't catch that, Logan Thomas. Ball came loose. Jesse Bates did something. Ellis recovers. I thought it was just going to be a first down. Jesse Bates has finally done something positive for this team. If this stands. Oh, that's not a fumble. That's definitely not a fumble. And they're not reviewing it. That's the right call. Snap the ball, Desmond. Oh, man. All right. Well, we have the football now. Third and eight. Who wants to get open? I don't like anything. Ritter dunked down to Patterson. We might actually consider going for it here on fourth and two. I know we have a 15-point lead, but it's all about field position right now. Fourth and two. Cannot punt in this spot. Bijan looking for space, and that is a first down. Could have been huge if he was able to evade a tackler or two, but we just had to guarantee the first down. Couldn't get crazy there on fourth and short. Wow, another nice play. We ran on second and 13. I mean, that's asking to not be effective there. Jonathan Allen is frustrating. He's just too good. Don't give me middle high-low. I don't like that play. We're just going to throw a screen. It's third and 14. We have a 15-point lead. 
this maybe gives us the best chance of uh, doing something here. We got some blocks. Bijan makes a man miss. Bijan still going, breaking more tackles. Bijan Robinson, unbelievable again. What can't this guy do? Second and one, beautiful time for play action. Linebackers don't bite on it. We throw that in there. Drake London snuck it in, touchdown. Tried to pass lead back towards the line, away from the DBs. I think it just maybe happened enough. We've had a couple of really crazy close calls to Drake London in this game, but guess what? Both of them have resulted in touchdowns, which leads me to believe that we just need to throw the ball more to Drake London. That's what I've decided. Drake London needs more targets. 42-20. This is what happens when you grab momentum early at home. When we lose momentum early, we get smashed. Which leads me to believe that momentum is way too strong in Madden. At Caden Ellis, no! Felt like we played it really well. Not well enough. Make a play. Nope. I felt like Jesse Bates should have been able to make a play on that. Scary Terry moves the chains. That could have been the last play of the third quarter. I think it will be. I'd be surprised if they snap the ball here. And that will take us to the fourth. Got a big lead in this one. Just got to hold on. Third and ten. Let's go ahead and just press Curtis Samuel at the line here. That'll do it. No way. That's a big catch. Thank you. We left the flat open on the right. Maybe could have got back there for a tackle. Brissett wanted more. Went to the end zone incomplete, or just shy of the end zone, maybe. And this is a big fourth and ten. We're going to blitz. I saw some space with Hawkins. Lobbing to the end zone. Okuda in front of it breaks it up. Thank you, Okuda. Might also see a little bit more Algier here in the fourth quarter. Playing with a nice lead. Blocking not quite as good for him, but he finds a few yards. Bijan, get a block. Ah, oh, that was close. Up to 183 yards rushing. And probably will get in the neighborhood of, I'd guess, 10 more carries at least. Might need to rip off a big one, but we're still trying to win and just take time off the clock. So, not going to force it. But I could see him getting 30 attempts this game. Okay, third and eight. Kind of got shut down there a little bit. Give Julio a shot. Came back to the football. I think we got like a yard. We'll punt. That's okay. We're just going to let them check down. I don't care if they score a touchdown. Yeah, it goes against our stats at the end of the year. Who cares? We're up by 22 right now. Touchdown is not the end of the world, and that might not even happen. Clark Phillips, nice tackle on B-Rob. Actually, that was Antonio Gibson. That was tw 24, not um, a different number. <laughs> I wanted to say he was 28, but now I'm questioning it. Now I'm questioning it. That's, yeah. Oh, oh, never mind. Caden Ellis forces the incompletion. We're going to stay in dime. Keep a lot of DBs on the field. It's fourth and goal. I'd love to keep him out of the end zone just because. That would be nice. And they are passing. Quick throw. Incomplete. Mike Hughes. Nice play. And we have the entire length of the field to go. And we'll see if Bijan Robinson can get us out of this hole. And that's not, that's not going to be a bad start for him. Just nine yards away from 200. I don't know that he's going to break 297 in this game. Just shy of two minutes to play. But he's going to go over 200, I think, if all goes well. And that could have been it. Not only is Matthew Bergeron injured, Bijan shut down. And uh, he might not get to 200 now. Nope, he's going to get to 200 and more than that. Bijan down the sideline, outrunning everybody, stiff arming, and finally wrapped up by Harris. That's 200 in style. Bijan Robinson bursts open as we go over 500 yards total on the game. We can go victory formation at this point. This is the last true play of the game. Bijan gets a couple. He's going to finish with 230 yards on the ground. And that is the ball game. 42 to 20 win. Oh, it feels good to be back in the win column. Only our second of the year. But 
It felt great to crush the Commanders, I'll tell you that. And we were nearly perfect with Ritter. 12 of 14, 244 yards, two touchdowns, and the one brain-dead pick. But overall, didn't really throw the ball at all and played great. This is the type of win we need to have. We need to follow this blueprint. Bijan goes 28 carries for 230 yards and two touchdowns. Broke six tackles. Also did pretty well as a receiver as well. Ritter with a rushing touchdown. Algier with a rushing touchdown. And then receiving. We, we allowed a lot of receiving yards. It's just what we do at this point. Drake London, four for 94, two touchdowns. Bijan, three for 43. He goes over 250 total yards. What a game for the rookie out of Texas. Hook him. Jesse Bates, 10 tackles, three for loss for Caden Ellis. No sacks, because obviously not, and no picks either. Bijan officially revealed to have superstar development, by the way. And he does have a skill point upgrade as well, which will give him an ability slot, 885, 85 overall. So we'll take that, son. Excuse me. Sometimes a twang breaks out and I just run with it. Um, obviously, that's a fake person that doesn't exist. But look at this. Jukebox, armbar, closer. So these were abilities we didn't previously have because it was not previously revealed that he had superstar dev, even though we pretty much knew. So he's going to get that much better. Already sick, just got even sicker. And Bijan also won player of the week. We are now two and four on the season, and it really was all about Bijan in the last episode. Bijan Robinson was just simply unstoppable. That's what it comes down to. He was our best player. He is the reason why we won the game. Blocking was great too, but when you average 200 or 8 plus yards per carry, you get 230 yards on the ground, and then add in 40 plus as a receiver, he was the reason why we won the game. I have no problem saying that at all. It's been an up and down season, a lot of downs, but we're moving back up. If you take our record in the last one games, we are projected to go undefeated the rest of the season. So... Something to think about. And also, there's a running back named Eric Rushing. Apparently, he built like an action figure and just set the Utah deadlift record. That's kind of like Saquon Barkley type stuff at Penn State. We'll take a look at Eric Rushing. I'm at least intrigued. If he doesn't have really good strength after setting the deadlift record at Utah, and it is Utah, right? But they got that Mormon pent-up soak strength. You know what I mean? So... We'll see. Eric rushing. A ball carrier vision's a great start. 5'11, 226. He's going to be a power back. And I know we have Tyler Algier. I'd still consider a running back day three. Good to great strength. Okay. I'm I'm intrigued. I'll say that. A trucking. He's just a pure power back. But we're going down to Tampa Bay. And I'll tell you, when I lived in Tampa, fun fact about me, uh, it rained every day, pretty much, <laughs> in, in the fall. It was super hot and humid, obviously, and it ran, like, for about an hour, as hard as you've ever seen, every day, and then it was beautiful and sunny. And it looks like it's going to be raining today, is the point of that whatever story. Uh, we're going to run the ball. We're going to run the damn football. Who is number four? Who is that supposed to be? <laughs> Who is that? AJ Terrell, Jesse Bates, and, I mean, is that our punter? Is Bradley Pinion wearing number four? I know he has the wide Anthony face scan from Giants franchise. Some of you may remember. Bradley Pinion's wearing number 13. It was Taylor Heineke. Okay. Baker Mayfield, of course, is the quarterback for the Bucks. It looks like he's been very good deep down the field. Well, not today. And we're going to try to throw it deep against them as well. Passer rating over 107 on deep balls against Tampa. You wouldn't think, but okay. This is probably my best ever set of reps doing this drill. <laughs> it was only bound to go wrong as soon as I said that, by the way. But it doesn't matter. We already have gold secured. And the pick for good measure. Can't get 20k. But would have if I didn't screw up the last rep. Would have, like, maybe even had a chance at 30k. And then, of course, more rushing attack for Bijan Robinson. It's my go-to, but it's... It's so worthwhile to do. Close quarters, I hate. And I don't even think I've noticed what the other ones even are. So I might take a look at those at some point. But yeah, just going to keep grinding it out. Bijan might be a 90 overall by the time his rookie season is over. That's how insane it is. 
Gold actually might be tough to get on this one. I've screwed it up a little bit somehow. I think we're still we're still gonna get it. It's gonna be close though. Let's get a juke move to kind of guarantee it. Ah, uh, no, we just have to score. All right, 55k, got it. Fatigue is finally setting in for guys here. Week seven in practice, so we might go with a different approach as Alford's gonna be injured. We're gonna miss Alford in this one, and then hopefully nobody on offense, especially not Bijan. But fatigue sets in for Bijan Robinson plus two. Hopefully that doesn't affect him too much in this one. And then we should get... Oh, that's right. No. Kyle Pitts is injured for another week with the broken finger. So we get him back next week. But still no Troy Anderson and still no Kyle Pitts. But Pitts and Anderson will be back next week. D. Alford is going to be out for a couple. But I don't know that he's been on the field too much anyway. All right, division game against a team ahead of us in the standings. Going on the road, potentially in the rain. And you know what it's all about. Run the damn football. And indeed, the rain is pouring down. But you know what? These classic away unis look even better than I expected. Bijan was incredible last week. Baker Mayfield's going to tear us up today. No question about it. So we're going to need Bijan to come up big. Run the ball. Score touchdowns. Dominate. Now, these aren't going to look amazing today because of the weather. You need to go down to Florida. You hope, okay, great weather. Color's going to pop. Nope. Pouring rain. 16 miles per hour of wind against us. Or is it going to flip and it's with us? It's against us. All right. That's a lot of wind. Are we having a hurricane? Are we playing through a hurricane in Tampa? It's not unreasonable. When I lived in Tampa, there was a mini hurricane. What was it called? 2016, I think. Could have been 2017. I think 2016. Yeah, one of those. Yeah, these unis definitely look really nice. Don't get the full effect today. Baker going to air it out down the field. Thankfully, no defensive pass interference on that. It would have been a BS call, but we've seen BS calls before. So it looks like Chase Edmonds is the running back here in Tampa. We're going to show Blitz, and down goes Mayfield. It's Jalen Hawkins. That's part of the perks of having a safety in the box is you have tremendous speed. So if he comes in unblocked, it's great speed to bring down the quarterback in an instant, and that's exactly what happened. Baker goes down, and that's a great stop for us defensively. you, know, you got to worry about Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. They've got a number of really good players on this offense. But you know what? Great start for our defense, and we need Bijan to uh, show up on offense. I'm not even going to talk about the rest of the guys. It's just Bijan Robinson. And Patterson's injured on the re on the return. Okay. Go through him. Bijan Robinson. It's the fighting for the extra yards that I love. Because that might have been, you know, six or seven, but instead it's nine. And that seems like, you know, nothing, right? As we're going to go Julio instead of Cordero Patterson at first. But now it makes it such an easy and convertible second and one as opposed to maybe we can get stuffed on, you know, second and three. And, I mean, Bijan's going to fight for it anyway. I guess it doesn't matter. Also, underrated storyline in this one, the great Julio Jones returned to Tampa and he drops it. <laughs> okay. Why am I even passing? Running the ball? Look at Bijan. That could have been way better. Drew Dahlman injured, so our starting center is down. Matt Hennessy probably going to come in and replace him. That could have been a first down probably, but I anticipated a defender coming across that just wasn't on the exact time is what I expected. Great block by Drew Dahlman, by the way. Set that up. Bijan jukes back across. Love that. And then it's just got to be run straight. And then you get one-on-one -on -one with the safety, but it was the accidental or missed time juke back the other way that let us get tackled. Because otherwise, that would have been really, really nice. We're going to run at Joe Tryon here. That's got to be the guy. Looking for space. Shut down. God, that should have been so good, too. And Drew Dahlman's done for the game. So they're going to bring in Jonathan Harrison, and I'm going to bring in Matt Hennessy. And I'll tell you, it's not that big of a downgrade to Matt Hennessy. So not the worst thing. And this, I, I know there's such a wide open space to this outside area, but by the time we get the ball, 
we were at the block. So tried to go shorter back inside and then kind of just got caught up there. Couldn't make a man miss. But obviously, yeah, if we were able to round this to the outside, provided Joe Tryon couldn't make a play, which he probably would have, we would have uh, had a first down there easily. It's fourth and two. It's a 55-yarder. We're going to try it with Young Wei Koo. Is that, is that over the bar? I can't quite tell. It looks like it's going to be really close. The wind is so far against us. We can't try this. We're going to call a timeout. And now coach is like, oh, yeah, you can't kick it from here. How about a run? <laughs> okay. That's what we should have had the first time. And I, mean, I don't really want to run at Vita Vea here, but we're going to have to. And we got blocks. No, Bijan got stopped. Get out of the way. Three run replays back to back is out of control. But oh my goodness, how is this not a first down? That's out of control. Ugh. Pitch to the outside. Caden Ellis trying to get after it. Hawkins can't make the tackle, and Chase Edmonds has the first. Caden Ellis going after Baker. Jesse Bates, you suck. Ah! It's thrown right at you. I don't know either. Yeah, push him, Mike. He's an idiot. Caden Ellis nearly sacks Baker. And then Jesse Bates is just... I, I mean, it's just awful. Third and ten. We've got good pressure on Baker up the middle, really just with Caden Ellis, to be honest. Check down. That's totally fine. And Baker misfires or Chase Edmonds alligator armed it. Is that Reuben Randall? If I squint hard enough, it looks like him. Ruben Randall for the Giants. Receiver at LSU. Would love to catch the ball with his hands touching his face pretty much. It was like, what are you doing? And uh, he didn't actually last in the NFL that long. But he was a second round pick, I want to say. For Daryl Patterson's back returning. Which means injury was not severe. And I'd love to just break one. That's not going to happen on that play. Get to the outside. Bijan, show off that speed. That's just an easy first down. I think we got to get wide here. Oh, is Devin White talking trash? Oh, we're going to run all over your throat, Devin White. Or down it, all over it. Either way, doesn't matter. Hopefully they blitz and nobody covers him. No, he's taken away. Step up. Nope, Ritter's pushed down. Second and 13. We're going to cancel play action. Find Julio. Great ball to Julio who caught it this time. Going to set up third and short. First completion for Ritter. Both attempts have gone to Julio Jones. Here's the run. Away from Vita Vea. That's a first down. Don't have to be too fancy. Nice tackle, Devin White. Yeah, show him, Bijan. Throwing deep down the field for Jonu Smith. Probably best that that went incomplete. Second and 10. We're going to get sacked again. I just didn't like anything. It's going to be third and 13. Still looking for our first points. I don't want to run middle high-low. I hate that play. I say that every video. It's all the coach wants us to run. We're going to pick four verticals. Just hope something gets open here. But Bijan on a wheel. Could use more blockers probably. Julio's open! Up the seam! Julio Jones goes down with the first. Two catches in this game by any receiver. Julio's got both of them. Get outside. Oh, great block from London. Bijan Robinson first down. He's averaging over six yards per carry comfortably. Ritter rolling out. I see London. I think we're going to run here. Ritter diving towards the end zone. Shut down. Great effort. Going to make it second and in inches. And that is the end of the first quarter as we end it with Desmond Ritter flying, soaring through the air, much like the Falcon. I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing. There is no one on Drake London. They're showing blitz all the way. Get it out to him quickly. Drake London, probably the easiest touchdown he's ever going to have. <laughs> what was the method there? What was the thought process from Tampa? Little runway, shoot for Drake London. He scores in style. Easiest touchdown. He was completely wide open. <laughs> I don't know what they were doing. It's an RPO. I need this to be illegal man downfield. I don't want to give up nine there. I think it holds fine too. Well, either, anyway, anyway, they go backwards. Fine with me. Please be incomplete. Yep. 
That's not a catch. We're gonna throw the challenge flag on that. I feel like that knee landed out of bounds. So, we'll take another look at it. I, I can't see any way where physically this should be a catch. But the right knee might have landed somehow before the left. I don't really understand how that would be possible. But it is actually going to be reversed here. Second and 19. Did we lose a challenge? It, well, they, they changed it. Did I call Oh, I called a timeout earlier. That's right. The field goal. Okay. So nothing's broken. That's just it's working perfectly. Nice. <laughs> I was about to complain real hard. Third and 12. We're forcing the football out instantly. We're sending everybody up the middle. It's a screen, actually, and there's nowhere to go. I like the idea. Didn't work for Tampa. They'll punt. Second and three. Give us a block, Janu. Bijan just couldn't get to the edge. Give me third and short, and we're going to run the ball. I think that's pretty obvious. Do we just want to run a trap? We kind of be running at Vita Vea, though. We'll see if we can reverse field here. Good block. There it is. That is... Perfect execution by the offensive line. Love that. Give us some blocks. There's Bijan. Look at the speed. We'll take the first. Rolling out. Throwing on the run for Jonu Smith. Diving. Makes the catch. Who needs Kyle Pitts when we have Jonu Smith? Reunited with Arthur Smith, who we have fired in this universe. Look at Ritter making a throw on the run, by the way, with Vita Vea right in his face. Doesn't matter. We might give Drake London a chance here. Throw it up. One-on-one. -on -one. London! He had him boxed out. He just couldn't make the like make the play. Why did he drop that? I gotta run away from the blockers here. We have space. No! That should have been the perfect juke. Third and eight. Who wants to make a play? We're just gonna check down. I know that's... That's a weak call. But it sets up fourth and two. Coach wants us to go for it. I like the aggressiveness. We're going to run right. We have numbers on the dive. We have to convert this. No, my goodness. How is Levante David not blocked? In my head, we have numbers. Because we have three offensive linemen to the right. And we have three players in a triangle to block. And now what the right tackle Caleb McGarry does is on a dive play... Blocks nobody. He blocks like it's outside zone. What is he doing? Why is he doing that? And that leaves Levante David to come in absolutely unblocked. Like, I would get that if this is an outside run. This is a dive. Why are we blocking it like that on a dive? Make a play. Mike Hughes with the interception. Doesn't matter when you take the football right back. Baker Mayfield, instant. Mistake. And Mike Hughes takes advantage. Wearing number 21 for the Falcons like Dion. I don't know what Baker's doing, dude. Classic Baker. Don't let him bake. He's cooking. We're just going to trust our offensive line. Up the gut. All Jeer can't find anything. I'm going to give Johnny Smith a try. Full back dive. Smith searching. Loses a yard. Third and goal. Okay, yeah, the interior of their line just with Vita Vea is just too hard to really do a lot against. You can see this working well. If that boundary corner chases Cordero Patterson, I think we have a touchdown with Bijan. Didn't happen. Throwing on the run, finding Julio Jones. Welcome back to Tampa Bay. Julio revenge game. <laughs> Legendary buck Julio Jones. He's right up there with legendary bucks like Antonio Brown, Gronk. Gronk maybe more so than Antonio Brown, I would say. But <laughs> trying to think of random guys that ended up on the Bucks at the end of their career. I, I think I, I got two of them. I get Tom Brady, right? I know the reason why. But isn't it wild that the two best receivers of the 2010s both randomly went to the Bucks at the end of their careers? Feels feels kind of weird make a play jesse bates all right jeff okuda was there he was the actual guy that did anything i thought that ball was going to be more down the field and jesse bates would have been able to do something but nope but that's okay jeff okuda makes the play he's having a decent season for us and that's going to be a catch oh that's crazy 
That's a crazy play. Two minutes to go here in the first half. And we knew he was going to sit there. Mike Hughes throws his shoulder. Knocks Russell Gage out of bounds. But he gets five. Tampa, I would say, all but guaranteed to get points here. It would be a really big surprise if they didn't. Okay, that's that was bad. Third and five. Yeah, it, things were going to be open there. That's just kind of what was going to happen. Which is okay. We're keeping them in front of us. Although, allowing the first down there is not ideal. Gives them a fresh set of downs to work with. Keep fighting for that touchdown. As we come to the end of the first half. Going to the end zone. AJ Terrell got hands on. Intercepted. We got a block. Terrell's got space down the sideline. Baker Mayfield trying to make the play. Terrell finally wrapped up. But a huge return, a huge turnover as Baker strikes again. AJ Terrell with maybe his first interception on the year as we approach midseason. Mayfield taking a shot at Russell Gage. AJ Terrell all over it. Finally, a minute to score here. Vita Vea is so annoying. <laughs> Why do you have to be fast enough to make that play? We're going to call a timeout. I still feel good about running the ball. I think we have the wind at our back here, although the turnover actually may have changed that. Let's go, Bijan. We got space. Just step out of bounds. I think he did. That stops the clock. 120 yards rushing in this first half. For Bijan, it's intercepted. That was just too stupid. It's my specialty, though. <laughs> uh, Ryan Neal with the pick. I don't really have much to say on that. I was just being dumb. It's one of my go-to moves. Just being an idiot. And I saw Jonu Smith. I saw it. So open. Honestly, though, this DB could have made a play. I think it's Carlton Davis. And I just saw Bijan. I'm like, Bijan's amazing. <laughs> and, I mean, he's got his man beat. He's running with the defensive end, essentially, Joe Tryon Shoenka. Let's throw it up. Didn't really want the off-the-back foot pass. But, of course, you know, it, it led right into where Julio was going. And Julio took Ryan Neal right to the ball. And it's picked. Really nice job of us to do nothing off the turnover. You gotta, we gotta wrap up. Caden Ellis, big hit. Tampa calls a timeout, second and 11. Still gonna run man coverage, which is a little scary, so we're gonna get these DBs off. Pause. Hayden Ellis against Kate Otten. Not a good matchup. Tampa gonna try a field goal here with eight seconds left in the first half. Kick up and win, trying to blow it back, but the kick is good. Yeah, we screwed up, we gave them free points. I hope that doesn't come back to bite us. But, of course, famous last words. Not a bad first half from us, but obviously could have been better. We'll start the third quarter here up 14-6, to six, and it will be the B. John Robinson show. I can promise you that. As Cordell Patterson has space, Patterson's got to make a man miss, and he can't. Ryan Neal with an interception, and now with a great tackle to save a touchdown. Ryan Neal having an incredible game. Second and nine. Oh, that's a great block. Bijan with a broken tackle as well. First down, Atlanta. Intercepted by Ryan Neal. Why am I doing that? Why am I so intent on being a dumbass? I wish I was the guy that could just check down. I wish I could be that guy. Try to go deep for Jonu Smith. Just, I mean, why? There was no need to. Pressure, down goes Mayfield. Caden Ellis with the sack. He's definitely the team leader, right? Epicady might be close because I usered him in the first couple of games. But I think Caden Ellis has got to be the team leader because we don't get any pressure from our actual defensive line. It's only on actual blitzes. Third and 15, we're only rushing three, which means no pressure, which means probable conversion down the field. Okay. Jeff Okuda, I mean, what is that? He just threw it immediately. Off coverage, they take advantage. But if we press, I guarantee you he gets torched immediately. And then what do we have to show for it? That's, I tried to, tried to get there. Caden Ellis, please! All right, you got a hand in there. Oh, that's gonna be a flag. 
holding, bring it back. Otherwise, it's a K. Dot and touchdown. Bring it back. That's a hold. Oh, is it roughing the passer? Don't show Grady Jarrett. Oh. It is indeed roughing the passer. You're blurred out. I don't want to see this shit. Tampa going for two to tie it. We've really thrown this game away. I mean, quite literally as well. Caden Ellis, big hit. We retain the lead. Run the ball, play it safe. I don't know why. Every time we try to just air it out down the field for no reason, that's when the mistakes are made. Just don't do that. It's easier said than done. I just, I, <laughs> I got the idiot juices flowing. All right, runs only for the rest of the game. <laughs> Not quite, but it's a good idea. Runs to Bijan and throws to Bijan. That's the winning recipe. Get out of here, Ryan Neal. Bijan's open. Oh, they played the flat. Don't, ah. That's picked. Why are you playing hard flats? Broken tackle from Carlton Davis. I can't run the ball there. It was like second and 13. Or third and 13. No, I think it was second. Usually you can just throw that on the break and it's open. And Carlton Davis was happening, or he happened to be in a hard flat. And that is the only coverage he could have been in in the entire game that would have stopped that from being... Uh, a catch so that's brutal yeah that's tough I'm, I'm we're throwing the game away it's my favorite thing to do Hawkins can't wrap up Jesse Bates big hit it's gonna be third and short a field goal would give Tampa the lead obviously but I'd like to hold them to that turnover would be incredible just unlikely to happen third and two who wants to make a play Caden Ellis no, no one wants to make a play. They just want to watch you go for the first down, Chase Edmonds. Come on. Throw to the end zone, Terrell! Good defense. Interception would have been huge there. Did not happen. Oh, wow. Caden Ellis, huge tackle. Gets a little bit of help as well from Smith. And that is third and goal now for Tampa. It's a great stand by us if we can complete it. This is the play. We're going pass commit if they run. I don't think they get it anyway. Over the middle, touchdown Mike Evans. Jesse Bates, I don't know if I've ever hated a player more in a series. I mean, this guy is just terrible. Do anything, please. Tampa with full momentum here. Some of the away team's receivers icons are hidden on the play. Yeah, we are not passing the ball, dude. <laughs> we are not passing. Oh, let's go. Big blocks. Tyler Algier follows him. First down. We needed that. Nice cut back. Beautiful. Change of direction from Bijan. It's going to be a hold. That happens sometimes when you try to cut back across the blocking. That's tough. Can we run on first and 20? Or is that stupid? That's been my specialty today. Well, that could have been worse. Sets up second and 12, which isn't great but we might run the ball back to back. It's the best way to move the ball for us. And we're gonna run away from Vita Vea here. No blocks. And that's the big problem with running there on a second and long is if you don't get anything, now it's third and basically impossible to convert. I say impossible, it's third and 11, it's not third and 30. Big first down to Drake London. Three picks from Ritter in this one, ah. Just, I, it's, it's what I do. I throw picks. Change of direction from Bijan. Well, you know, what? tried to juke a little outside there. Didn't end up working out, but it wasn't the worst result. Oh, we got blocks here, I think. Bijan just needs you to be faster. He's supposed to have arm bar. Making these stiff arms really good. They're not that good. They have three down linemen. I'm running the ball here. Third and five, four down territory down uh, by... Less than a touchdown, but we still need a touchdown. It's so much running. How about a pass? Linebackers kind of bite on it, but it's going to be a run. Ritter, get a block. We'll <laughs> take four. Could have been a couple more. Second and six. I don't know how you're supposed to make him miss there. I guess you just have to truck him in the hole. But I don't know what the odds of that happening are. It's third and six. They might rush five here. We'll see what happens. 
Bijan Robinson wide open into the flat. Bijan, first down. Was really hoping he'd be able to make two guys miss there. They end up knowing his tricks, wrapping up, but a nice play. We're going to go five wide here and try to catch him napping. Quarterback draw. Desmond Ritter up the middle. Touchdown. We'll take the lead in Tampa. Caught him napping. They didn't expect us to run the ball going five wide, running at an empty. Desmond Ritter. What are they doing? What is that supposed to be? Is he dealing? Well, it doesn't matter. Two-point conversion. We're going to give Drake London a shot here. Back of the end zone. Feet in bounds. Touchdown. Two-point conversion. I mean. <laughs> Drake London in the low red zone. Cheat code. Play action. Right there with Cade Nellis, but they still get four. Make a play. Baker has hit you in the feet. You got to be able to make that. You got to be able to make a play on that. Third and six. When I say make a play, I mean intercept the ball. That's really what I mean. So we don't have to deal with this down. Make a play, please. In that case, make a play means get a sack. Baker with the throw away. Probably punt here. Down by a field goal, fourth and six. Yeah, I think... I think we're going to be good here. Run the ball. Don't let me pass the ball, regardless of what intrusive thoughts come into my brain. Only run the ball. Third and 50, run the ball. But it won't be third and 50 because we're running the ball. Just run and run and run. And oh my goodness, Bijan just got thrown by Levante David. Change of direction. Devin White all over it. Third and seven. We could pass. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to, I guess. This was not good. I tried to... I thought we had space. We can arm punt here, which might mean just take a shot at Drake London. Or a quick throw to Jonu Smith! And he drops it. That's why we run the ball, so that doesn't happen. Can't drop the ball when you run. Break that down. That, that's good football advice for you guys. Have the lead. We just got to play a little bit of defense. Second and eight. The Bucks ran the ball on first down. Oh, good stop. I think Arnold Evocati got his big fat head in the way of that pass. And <laughs> I think he just hit him square in the face. Third and eight. Somebody's got to watch Kate Otten. That's got to happen. They're going to change things here. I actually prefer this. I think I prefer it. Okay. Baker misses Mike Evans, who surely would have had a first down. And now you probably think about going for it. I guess three timeouts and four minutes to play. They're not confident in their offense to get it on fourth and eight, and they're confident in their defense to stop us. But I'll tell you what, if we just run out the clock here, the game's over. So they're taking a bit of a gamble, and it's got to be that guy. Bijan, so close to 200 total yards again. And we're going to go chew clock and feed the beast. Get the ball to number seven. This is scary front. They've got, what is that, seven in the box? We're going to run the ball anyway. Dijon fighting, but it's just, it's too tough. 33 rushes for Robinson. We get Tyler Algier, you know, touches occasionally, but he's not the offense. Number seven is. Change the direction. Bijan up the middle. Perfect. First down. He's close to 200 on the ground now. And that's going to give us a little bit more leeway here. As we don't need a first down on this next play. Algier. Need a couple of hard yards. Here we go. That's going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Third and three. Do we bring out Algier again or no? I think we will. We're going to have him run behind Jonu Smith at Vita Vea. Devin White in the hole stops him. We are not punting here. Fourth and two. Game on the line. A first down I really think would essentially end it. You trust B. John Robinson. And there he goes. B. John Robinson past the diving Winfield. One man to beat. McCollum can't catch him. Touchdown B. John Robinson. Dagger. It's over. Fourth and short. We trust our guy. And B. John Robinson runs past 
the leaping Antoine Winfield Jr. and then Zion McCollum. Devin White was in the uh, play at the end there as well. But big play by Bijan. That's how you end the game in style. Tampa still has about two minutes and two timeouts to work with. So a quick score and an onside kick recovery plus another score would let them tie the game if one of those is a field goal, of course. But um, I think that's going to be too tough for them to do, honestly. Oh, no, we're stuck on Richie Grant. Going to the outside. Mike Hughes can't get a hand up. First down, Tampa. They're moving the ball pretty quickly right now. But, again, they need a, they need a lot. I call Dagger. If we lose the game now, it's going to be devastating. It's going to be it's going to be a real heartbreaker. Keep him in bounds. Now, in real life, the fact that he was going out there backwards should keep the clock running. That's a fun little niche rule for you. I'm not sure how it works with contact. But he was going backwards, so I feel like I guess because there was contact, he had forward progress. I don't know. But in real life, if you, like, turn around and run backwards, the clock would stop. Uh, even if you run out of bounds. I swear. 99% sure. 52 seconds is still plenty of time. A little bit scary. But we're a turnover away from a quick end. Keep him in bounds. He's in bounds. Clock going a tick, which works to our benefit. There's a short runoff. 35 seconds to play. Quick throw, Caden Ellis is there. Cade Otten cannot catch it. Baker going right to the flat where Ellis is waiting. Baker Mayfield trying to stop a touchdown the other way and he does, but Caden Ellis ends it for sure. Interception in the red zone as Baker has thrown another one and it should be another win for Atlanta as we rattle off two in a row. Nice play by Caden Ellis, reading Baker the whole way taking away his main goal there. And, uh, of course, main goal was to win the game, and it didn't work. <laughs> there, there you go. Tampa might decide to call timeouts here, but I can't imagine why. They do call a timeout, but the game is over. And Bijan going to rattle off some more yards for good measure. That is the game. I'm surprised he couldn't juke out Ryan Neal. Ryan Neal played amazing in this game, but it wasn't enough. The Bijan show continues, and we're not taking it off the air anytime soon. Write that down. This is Falcons football. 106 yards passing by Desmond Ritter, three interceptions. Yeah, great, great game from Desmond Ritter. I understand that I'm responsible for these. I don't question it. Bijan, 38 attempts for 257 yards and a touchdown. Algier, 22 rushes, or 22 rushing yards, excuse me, on four attempts. We run the damn football. 38 attempts is, is a lot. That's a lot of attempts. We might want to go easy on Bijan the next game. Receiving, I mean, we, we just get lit up through the air, and we don't complete any passes. Julio with a touchdown, Drake London with a touchdown, and a two-point conversion as well. Well, that's not going to show up on the stat sheet. And then defensively, Caden Ellis with a sack, two tackles for loss. Hawkins had one as well. Sack and interceptions for Mike Hughes, Caden Ellis, and AJ Terrell. Really good game. And we do have some big upgrades. Desmond Ritter might be the most important because accuracy going up is going to be huge for him. The accuracy is not terrible already. I think I want to do improviser. The throw under pressure rating is just way too low. It does have the QB of the future tag. I mean, he's got star dev. There is something to work with here with Desmond Ritter. I know it, obviously. Decent upgrades for him. Get some slight accuracy boosts, plus one to throw under pressure. It's not bad. Bergeron, got to be pass protector. I need more time in the pocket to run the damn football. So maybe I don't. And then, of course, Bijan already with a, a new skill point. Juke move into the 90s, I feel like would be very strong. But I also want to see trucking. So we're going to upgrade it. Power back here. Hopefully get plus two or three to trucking would have been nice. Break tackle, carrying, and trucking go up by one. Break tackle's not bad. I'd like that to be at 90+, plus, but that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We are all ready to week eight. I've banged out a few of these back-to-back-to-back, to back to back, and we have completed our rain game goal, by the way, of 200-plus rushing yards. So 
It seemed obvious given the conditions that the running game would play a huge role in who won. Who do you credit most? Well, Bijan's already sick. He's already sick. I want an upgrade for the offensive line. And the guys up front had a big day. I made those lines myself. It's, <laughs> it's hard to get much push when you're standing in water. And all offensive linemen for the next game will have plus three run block power and run block finesse. Yep, we're all ready to week eight. Recorded a bunch of these back to back. So week eight is when new scouting progress unlocks, I believe. It's when we really approach that trade deadline. So things could start happening. And I will say, unfortunately, I'm not sure we're really in a position to be super competitive this year. We're three and four and we're turning it around, but who knows? And there might be a breakout challenge in the next game. And based on how Bichon's played the last couple of weeks, we might be looking at a superstar X Factor before long. And before long could be one week away. That's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.